there's a lot of joy here and you can tell, I think. We love each other and we care about each other to the core. We go out of our way to uh, specifically welcome all kinds of people. I choose to come here because I think that's really important to actually um, live out the idea of open hearts, open minds, open doors. We're really happy to have our kids kind of growing up in, in a really welcoming church community. I guess the most important thing that makes Clifton Methodist Church different than other churches is that they put their words into action. We are a welcoming church, but more than that, we're an affirming church. We live what we say. I would say we have um, a space open for all here, and we mean it. People who are lost and looking for home. Oh. This place feels like home. And I think that's why I'm here still. To me, it seems unusual that the uh, attendance at church seems good. We get to celebrate the, um, the joy that is um, in Jesus, and we get to love each other. It's important to be in a space where I can come, where I can bring anybody with me and know, let them feel that they're going to be welcome in this space as well, um, because that is what Christ teaches us. I firmly believe that, and so it only makes sense to worship in a place where, where that's happening. We have LGBTQ parents in our congregation, and it's really nice to just see people come in. There's a vulnerability and in trusting that you are safe in a place and that happens here all of the time. When Reverend David washed my feet on Maundy Thursday, uh, it changed me and um, I felt like I had finally uh, gotten rid of all the shame and uh, self-loathing that I had had all my life. Clifton United Methodist Church helped me to see that I am loved, I am worthy, and that no matter who I am, what I am, I am loved, and that's it. That's one of my favorite things about Clifton is that I know when I come in with my questions and with my doubts, my fears, my anger, I'm still safe here. We go into spaces where there are people who might feel like they don't belong at church, like at Pride, for example, and just, we be ourselves, we share joy and we share love, and um, I think that it, it really, means something. Meetings in the community for um, political change and social change, often I'm there as a social worker and people from our church is there as concerned community members. Because you can't fix the whole world, but you can make your world a little better. We truly take service into action. Why do I keep coming here? Because for me it's important to be um, worshiping as a part of community that acts what they're preaching. We have Phil's Place, which is a food pantry that we work at. We also have a space here for sanctuary, if there were going to be any immigrants in need of a sanctuary space. What I think makes Clifton unique is that it makes itself vulnerable to uh, being uh, out there in the community. We are not fearful. We're just not afraid to say how we feel, um, say what we learn in the scripture, which is that God's love is expansive. My favorite thing about coming to this church is actually the Church Beyond the Walls Day. That day is by far the best day of the year for our family. We are going out into the community and sharing what we do um, with others. And um, I think that that's really representative of our church and you know the idea of doing rather than talking is really important. If you say that all are welcome, but all are not involved in the life of the church, there's something wrong and there's something missing. And I think that telling everyone that no matter who you are, no matter who you love, no matter um, what your family looks like, you are welcome, you are celebrated, and you belong here. Life is messy, life is uncomfortable, and it's not cookie cutter. I think that if you want to have the love and the community that we have here, other churches need to be accepting that the, the salt comes with the sweet, um, but the sweet is such a reward. I can't, I would never change anything about how we do things here. Churches should make themselves open to the neighborhood 
find, trying to find opportunities to listen to the concerns of the neighborhood. Take every opportunity you can to be an open door all week long. You know, we mentioned different types of people, like LGBT people, people of different faiths, people of different colors. Um, in our service, in our bulletin, it's in our mission. Other churches, it would be great if other churches did those things too. If other churches could find this place of fearlessness, we could do so much more and reach so many more people with this idea that God's love is expansive. And honestly, just say the words, say lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, say them out loud, say them without fear, because that's what we're talking about and that's who we love. And um, that's what we do here. Yeah, I mean, I think just keeping an open mind and welcoming as many people into your community as you can. Um, and that's what drew us to this place and this group of people. Um, and that's, a, that's an infectious thing. It's about being authentically you and um, encouraging everyone to be authentically themselves. How you do that, I think you, you've got to figure that out for, for you.